Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we've got a really cool conversion lined up. We're going to take this single coil equipped Telecaster and modify it to accept Filtatrons. <music> Now the pickups that we're going to be installing in our telly today are the JBE Tron pickups. So very cool Filtatron style pickup. Now if you guys remember a few months back, I actually installed these pickups into a Les Paul. I was just super curious what a Filtatron would sound like in a Les Paul. I'd never seen it before. So anyway, JBE makes these little conversion rings. So Filtatron sized inside with a Les Paul sized outside. So anyway, some really cool tones were had. Uh, feel free to check that one out. All right, so let's take a quick look at what we need to convert a single coil telly into one that accepts Filtatrons. Well, first of all, we need a pick guard cut out for a Filtatron. Now my telly is a thin line, so I needed to find a thin line Telecaster pick guard with a Filtatron cutout. Now I found this on eBay, it took like a month and a half to get here from China, I think. Uh, I think these are pretty hard to find just because it's so specific. But anyway, finally arrived, so here it is. And secondly, of course, we needed the bridge plate that would accept a Filtatron. Now I needed the vintage style because, well, for two reasons. First of all, I had the four screws, so I needed that. And also I have a Bigsby on this guitar, so we also needed to notch it. So a flat plate just wouldn't work. And thirdly, you'll need the tools and the guts to reroute out your bridge pickup cavity. Now, thankfully, most Telecasters come already pre-routed from the factory to accept a humbucker in the neck. Of course, check yours before you launch into a mod like this, but thankfully, no modifications were needed for the neck pickup. Um, it all happens in the bridge. All right, so let's jump in and start our conversion. Now, the reason I picked a Filtatron style pickup is because they kind of offer the best of both worlds. They have that bright, biting, uh, kind of single coil sound, but they're totally silent like a humbucker. So really cool. Um, if you've ever listened to a Telecaster a Cabernita, awesome tones out of those. I don't personally particularly like the looks of it, so that's why we're doing a conversion on one of my other tellies, but the sounds are absolutely awesome. All right, now the first step in our conversion was to mount the bridge plate to the guitar, take a pencil or a marker and mark out the exact dimensions of the Filtatron pickup. And then of course we grabbed our Dremel tool and routed out the cavity. Now once the bridge cavity was marked and cut out and sanded, then I applied a thin layer of shielding paint just to keep things extra quiet and in case I wanna put single coils in this guitar in the future. Now this conversion is somewhat more complex because this guitar has a Bigsby. So most of you could probably avoid this step, but I'll show it to you anyway. So because the strings have to come from the Bigsby and go onto the saddle without touching the back plate, like the back riser of the bridge plate, um, that had to be notched. So what I did is I took a triangle file and I notched each one of the six spots so the string could transfer from the Bigsby to the saddles. So here's the end result of the notched bridge plate. You can see all the marks from the triangle file that will correspond perfectly with the saddles. So that's a step that lots of you might not have to do, but I thought I'd show it just for interest's sake. Another important aspect to consider if you're going to be using a Bigsby on a Telecaster is to use three barrel saddles that are pre-grooved. This will just keep the strings exactly where they're supposed to be with the proper spacing and to keep them from sliding back and forth as you use the Bigsby. All right, let's start with the neck pickup installation. So we're just going to route the wires from the neck cavity into the bridge cavity, like so, and then it'll go from the bridge cavity into the main control cavity. All right, from here we need to solder one wire to our switch and one wire to our pot. Okay, next up, let's get ready to install the bridge pickup. Now you can see a ground wire that was here from a previous install, so that's ready to rock, no problems there. So we're just gonna run these bridge wires in to the control cavity. Okay, now that we've ran our pickup wires through to the switches and grounded them to the volume pot, what we're gonna do is install the pots and the switches through our pick guard. Now when you order parts from China, you never really know how they're gonna line up. So let's put it in place and hope that the cutout is just right for our Filtatron and that all the holes line up. So here we go. Okay, that's looking actually pretty good. Let's uh, quickly zip it in. Now 
Now with the neck pickup installed, the pick guard in place, we need to move on to the bridge. So we've got four big screws that will anchor down the bridge. Let's install those now. All right, now this thing's starting to look really, really cool. So what we need to do next is put our little bushing in and the spring for the Bigsby. And then what we're gonna do is string this baby up. There we go, string this baby up. And I'll show you guys how to do that because it can be a real pain in the butt when you have to do all six strings. Normally on a Bigsby, changing strings one at a time makes it a lot easier. But because of what we're doing, we need to string the whole thing up at once. So let's check that out. Okay, now the first thing you wanna do is put a kink in your string. This is gonna be very important. Now. What we're gonna do is put the string under the bar here. So this is the string end that will go to our tuning machine. And I'm just gonna sort of loosely put it under the bar and on to our saddle. Now with lots of slack here, we're gonna hook and put our string ball end through the post on the Bigsby and kind of pull it tight here. Now once you've got enough pressure on there, it should hold on the post. And that's where the next step comes in. So I'm just gonna shuffle the guitar along here. Hopefully you guys can still see this. And with pressure on the string, what we're gonna do is grab a capo and hold it tight. So I'm gonna put this capo on here. Now the string, I can totally let go of it. The capo is holding the string. And that is also super important because as we scroll our guitar along, here I'll see if I can do that without hooking it all on all my gear here, is we've got vintage style tuning machines. So that's also something that makes it very, very tricky to you know, string a Bigsby and also use these split head vintage tuning machines. So what you wanna do with those is take your string, go two posts past where you wanna go, take your cutter, snip the string, there we go. And from there, what you do, stick it in and then you can tighten up your string. And there we go. Now while vintage tuning machines can be a little bit of a pain in the butt when you combine it with a Bigsby, using that capo trick really helps. Um, and once your string is in and wound, boy, there's no you know string ends to poke your fingers or to rip up the inside of your gig bag or whatever. Just a really nice, uh, you know, smooth tuning machine, which is really great. And it holds tune quite well as well. Now here's a little bit of a closer view of how the strings go over the saddles, through the notches on the bridge plate and to the Bigsby. All right, you guys, here is the finished product. Absolutely blown away by it. Just has that perfect vintage look. Um, I can't wait to, to try out the JBE Trons. I think they're gonna sound awesome, but we'll plug it in and play some tones for you guys in a second. And of course, we've got um, the vintage tuning machines. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, the vintage, uh, I think it's the road worn neck. So this is official uh, Fender neck. You can see the finish is kind of, uh, yeah, taken off the back of the neck. So it just plays really smooth, has a nice kind of um, larger than modern C profile, so a little bit more to grab onto. But anyway, yeah, here's the finished product. Let's plug it in and check out some tones.
So here's my initial thoughts after plugging this baby in uh, for a little bit. First of all, it's really fun to play. I'm, I'm really loving the Filtertron pickups in this. I think it's a great package. Um, on the bridge pickup, especially when you take your pick and kind of bring it back over the pickup, you can definitely get that classic twang and attack that you would associate with a telly, but just a little bit more, right? In the middle position, I was surprised at how quacky it was. Uh, I thought it sounded great. And in the neck position, um, yeah, a little bit fuller than a traditional single coil, but still with tons of attack. Now I'll put a link in the video description below for the products that I used, especially this thin line uh, pick guard, really hard to find and took forever to get here, but I'll try to track it down and put a link in there for you guys. Uh, the pickups, the Bigsby and uh, the bridge plate, I'll try to put all that in the video description below. Other than that, have an awesome week, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little, you know, mini telly build, and we'll see you next time with a new video. Take care.